Hello and welcome to Thrive Quiz Builder. I'm Christine and in this video I'll be giving you a quick tour of this plugin so that by the end of this video you'll know how to create a simple quiz and put it on your website. So here is the Thrive Quiz Builder dashboard. This is what it will look like when you have a couple quizzes on your site and you can see the stats here and you can manage your quizzes from here. So let's go ahead and create a new quiz. You have four different options for the type of quiz. The list building, social shares, and gain customer insights options all have some pre-configured options. Uh, for now, I'll choose build from scratch so that we can walk through everything together. So let's give this quiz a name. And the first thing you'll notice is that we have this handy little guide to help you go through the steps. So let's choose the quiz type. And you'll see that we have five different types of quizzes. They differ mostly in how the quiz results are scored and how the results are displayed. So the first quiz type is number. This means that every quiz answer can be assigned a number of points and the end result is simply the sum of those points. And of course, you can assign points in any way you like. You can have wrong answers be worth zero points while the right answer is worth one point. You can have a scale of answers worth maybe five, 10, or maybe 15 points. You can even have negative points if you would like to penalize someone for choosing a particular answer. So the end result is a score that is simply a sum of points added up from the participants answers. The next option is percentage. Here you can also assign each answer a number of points, but the end result is displayed as a percentage of the total number of points you can possibly earn. So the result is displayed in terms of 50%, 70%, etc. Next we have the category type. This is the type of quiz you would use if you were to put something together like a personality quiz. So you'll need to predefine a set of categories that your participants will be sorted into when they take the quiz and each answer in the quiz can be associated with a particular category. And so the end result is something like, you are this type of personality or you belong in this category. Next, we have the right wrong quiz type. And in this type, each quiz question has one right answer. And finally, we have the survey. The survey quiz type is unique because there's no scoring involved and the participant doesn't receive a specific result. Surveys are really useful when you want to learn more about your participants. So for our example today, we're going to choose the right wrong quiz type. So now you can choose what happens when someone responds to a quiz question. Do you want to simply move on to the next question? Do you want to reveal the correct answer? Or do you want to provide the answer and also provide feedback about why the answer is correct? For now, we're going to choose highlight the correct answer. And then you can choose how long the highlight will be displayed for. 10 seconds is a little bit long, so let's go ahead and choose three seconds. Next, we'll have to choose a quiz style. So you can choose a style that you like or that matches your site. If you choose the minimalist style, you can then edit the colors and fonts for your quiz questions. So let's go ahead and choose that one. And let's quickly edit our quiz questions template. The first thing you might want to do is edit the main color used for the quiz. So make sure that quiz builder questions is highlighted in the breadcrumbs, then go to the main options tab on the left and choose a color that matches your branding. Now, if you realize at some point that maybe your design doesn't look quite as good as you hoped, you can go back to the original design by clicking the reset to default layout button. Now, what else might you want to customize? Well, you can change uh, text fonts and colors, you can change backgrounds, and you can change borders and shadows. As you are editing, just make sure that the container for the element you want to edit is highlighted in the breadcrumbs, and then the list of attributes that you can edit will appear on the left. So I'll go ahead and make some simple font and color customizations. When you're finished making your customizations, don't forget to save your work, and then you can return to Thrive Quiz Builder. 
So this section right here will show you the flow of your quiz. Right now we only have two things. We have the quiz questions and we have the results page. Our tour guide here is prompting us to create our quiz questions and answers. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll start by adding a question. And as you can see, you have three different types of questions you can ask. Multiple choice with buttons, multiple choice with images, so each of the answers will have an image, and you can ask an open-ended question. Today we'll start with the simple multiple choice question. Now you have a few options for the format of the question. So the simplest format is just simple written question in text format, but you can also add a video to your question or audio to your question. So let's just use text and let's type in our question. You can also add an additional description if your question needs more information. And let's put in the possible answers. So don't forget to mark the correct answer. And when you're all finished, you can click Save. And now you can see the question in our quiz flow with the correct answer in green. Let's add another question and I'll show you another option you have. So let's go to add question and we'll do multiple choice with buttons. And if you have a text question, you can easily add an image to go along with it. So if you have a question about a specific image, you can easily just click the add image icon and add that image. Again, don't forget to indicate the correct answer and you can go ahead and save this question. Now, when this question is added to your flow, you'll need to move this around a little bit. And then you'll also need to connect the dot at the bottom of the first question to the dot at the top of the second. So I'll simply click and drag. So with this flow, when everyone answers the first question, that will take everyone to the second question. Now you might have noticed that the answers within each question also have a dot, and I'll show you what you can do with those in a moment. Let's go ahead and add one more question. And this time I'll choose multiple choice with images. So with this option, each answer can have its own image. And don't forget to indicate the correct answer and click Save. And now our third question has been added to the flow page. You can simply click it and drag it around to move it. And let's go ahead and connect the second question to the third question. So now everyone going through this flow will go through it linearly. So they'll go to the first question and then the second question and then the third question. But what if you want to get more advanced with this tool? What if you want certain answers to set people on a path that will ask different questions? So let's say if someone answers C in question one, then we want them to go directly to question three. So let's get rid of these lines. What we can do is we can connect the dot from question one, answer three to question three. And we can move this around to make this a little easier to see. And then let's say we want answer B from question one to go to question two. So we can easily do that. And you can have multiple answers lead to specific questions. So for example, we can have A and B go to question two and C and D go to question three. Now, of course, if you have a lot of questions with a lot of branching, then this has the potential to be pretty confusing. So instead, you can make use of the exceptions that are built in to Thrive Quiz Builder. So let's get rid of all of these lines. So we can have all of the answers from question one take us to question two, except for, say, answer D, which will take us to question three. So with this powerful feature, you can create highly customizable quizzes 
that will show people different questions based on the answers they give. Now today we're going to keep things simple, so I'll simply map the questions in a simple linear flow. Next, we'll need to set up our results page. So as soon as participants finish answering the last question, they'll be taken to their results page. Let's go ahead and click Manage. And then if you like, you can change the name of the page. I'll just leave it as it is for now. And let's edit the design of the page by going to the blue pencil icon. So this is what people will see when they finish the quiz. You can change the fonts, you can change colors, you can add in images if you want, and you have several other elements you can add by simply clicking the Add Element button on the right. The important thing to keep in mind is that what's written inside the brackets is short code, and this is needed to display the quiz results, so you definitely do not want to delete that. However, you can change the color and fonts if you like, and you can also add text around it to help the number that appears make a little more sense to your participants. So I can add correct answers to the end of it so that the final result reads, congratulations, you've achieved the final result, three correct answers. The other thing I'd like to point out is that we have some social sharing icons down here. These will share the current page that the visitor is on. So even though the person who just completed the quiz is looking at the results page, the people who view the shared link will see the start of the quiz. When you're done making your customizations, you can save it and go back to Thrive Quiz Builder. Now there's two ways to publish your quiz. You can simply copy the short code for this quiz and paste it anywhere onto a page or post on your website. So I'll simply copy this short code here and I'll go to my page and I'll use the text element. I'll simply copy the short code in here. So you can do that. And let's see what that looks like. And there's our quiz. Or if you're using Thrive Architect, you can simply use the quiz element and place it on the page. So I'll go to the add element button and I'll go to quiz and I'll just drag and drop that on the page and just select the name of your quiz. And there it is. One thing to remember is that your quiz will fill the width of the container around it. So you may need to make some spacing adjustments. So let's go ahead and save this page and take a look at our quiz. All right, so let's go ahead and take the quiz. Let's select a wrong answer. And you can see that the wrong answer is in red, the right one's in green and the quiz automatically moves on. And here is our results page. So those are the basics for putting a simple quiz together. And now you can inject some marketing strategy into your quiz. So let me quickly show you two of the features you can add. So here we've got the quiz that we're working on in Quiz Builder. Let's go down to the quiz structure and you'll see that we have three quiz questions plus a results page. Now you can also add a splash page to the beginning of this flow. And a splash page is the content we'll show before the first question. A splash page is helpful because sometimes just seeing the first question of a quiz isn't very enticing. People don't know why they're seeing this random question on a page. So you can use your splash page to entice people to start the quiz. And you can use a quick message such as take our quiz and find out what type of entrepreneur you are or what type of TV nerd you are, etc. So let's go ahead and add a splash page. And you can manage that by going to the purple manage button. And to edit your splash page, just go to the blue pencil icon. And here you can customize the text on the page. You can change the fonts, you can add images and more. So let's head back to the splash page management area. Now here at Thrive Themes, we want you to get results as quickly as possible. If you're using a quiz to build your email list, then you'll want to figure out how to get as much engagement as possible. So what you can do is start an A-B test. You can build a second version of your splash page, make some tweaks to it. Maybe you wanna see if a different headline or different photos attract more people to the quiz. So to do that, go to the clone button 
and that will create a second copy of your splash page. And then you can simply use the blue pencil icon to edit that page. When you're finished making your adjustments, simply click the Start A-B Test button, and you can give your test a name. For now, I'll just say Test. You can go down to Automatic Winner Settings, and I would click Enable. And this means that a winner will automatically be declared when these conditions are met, and all remaining traffic will be sent to the winning page. The other feature I'd like to show you is the opt-in gate. So the opt-in gate goes between the last quiz question and the results page so that visitors have the opportunity to get on your email list before seeing their results. So let's go ahead and add the opt-in gate. Opt-in gate is right here. Let's click the manage button and let's click the edit button. So this is what the opt-in gate looks like. Again, you can tweak this page to your heart's content. Now, if you'd like to make this page optional, simply keep the skip this step text at the bottom of the form, or you can make this required by simply deleting this text. And that approach is a little bit more aggressive, but the choice is yours. And again, we are all about conversions here at Thrive Themes, so you can split test the opt-in gate and the results page as well. So now you know everything you need to to create a basic quiz. Be sure to check out our more in-depth tutorials to learn about the rest of the marketing features we have for you in Thrive Quiz Builder.